Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the drawing area panel. Um, so this is where you can configure the size of your paper, um, the size of the pen you're using, and the scaling of your image on that paper. This might be a section that you're tempted to skip because it seems uh, very boring and you want to skip onto the pathfinding controls again. But actually, this is one of the most important settings to get right if you want good results from DrawingBot. Um, so if we actually tell DrawingBot the size of paper and the size of pen we're using, it means that behind the scenes, DrawingBot can actually optimize the drawing it creates to be drawn for that size of paper with that size pen. If you don't tell DrawingBot the sizes, um, what will end up happening is your drawing might be too dense or too sparse, and what you see in DrawingBot won't be an accurate representation of your final plot. Um, so to start editing these settings, we need to first switch from uh, the drawing mode into the image mode, and then I'm going to change the paper size to A4. As you can see, when we've changed the paper size to A4, we get a few more options here. They're no longer greyed out. And also you can see it's obviously cropped the image slightly. What we can do is we can rotate the paper here to switch it from portrait to landscape. We can also change the scaling mode, so we could change it to scale to fit to fit the image on a bit better. Again, a lot of these controls should be fairly self-explanatory. But again, the main one is now we've got access to this pen width control. So we want to make sure we enter the size of our pen in millimeters. So this is really the, the line size that the pen will draw. So you could set it to 0 0.1 and you'll see that our plotting size up here is now much bigger because drawing body is using a much higher resolution image because it knows that when you come to plot this with your pen, it'll be able to resolve that level of detail. We'll go back to the default of 0 0.3. We can also actually change uh, the size of the paper, we can enter a custom size. So say for example your paper was 300, uh, 300 millimeters by 200. You could enter that and you could actually save this as a new preset. So at the top here we've got presets. We can actually go to save preset, uh, give it a name, we'll call it 300 by 300 and hit apply. And then this will appear in our presets menu when we reopen drawing box. As you can see, there are a few other ones already there. And also, there's a few other controls we've got here. If you're using much bigger paper, you can switch from millimeter to centimeters to even inches if you need. Um, you can also change the padding, which basically adds a margin around the image. And then our final setting we have here is the paper color. So we can change this from white to, say, orange. As you can see, our drawing is actually covering some of the canvas, but if we hit start again, our drawing is actually placed um, over this uh, new color. So you can set what I've, whatever color paper you're using, by default it's set to white. So that's basically the drawing area control. Remember that if you're making physical art, entering your pen width is incredibly important. And if you want to see the changes you're making to the drawing area, make sure you're in the image mode, not the drawing mode. Um, in the next video, we'll cover image processing.